this, some Yuma locals say they're losing out on hope of ever getting the vaccine. News 11's Crystal Jimenez spoke to one man who's just about ready to give up. It's a sad reality for several over locals who aren't very tech savvy or don't know much about securing an appointment when vaccine slots become available. For Robert Jones, he says he's just about ready to give up. Thank you for calling the Yuma County Public Health. 82 year old Robert Jones, a Yuma resident, hasn't had any luck when it comes to getting a COVID vaccine. There are currently no more appointments available for the COVID 19 vaccine. As soon as we are able to open more appointments. Jones spent two long months in the hospital last year trying to survive the virus that has taken hundreds of lives in Yuma County. It almost took his own. But what scares me the most, I think, is the, the thought of getting it again. Because, uh, man, I wouldn't survive it again. With the announcement that vaccines were finally becoming available and his age qualifying him to get some of the first few doses, he had high hopes of returning back to some normalcy. But every day since, that hope has dwindled. Well, I've contacted Fry's, Walgreens, CVS, uh, County Health Department, um, the hospital, my doctor, and they either aren't making appointments, or they're booked up, or they're booked up for this week, call back next week, and I get the same story. I'm tired of getting the story. The Arizona Department of Health Services announcing its state-run site coming to the Yuma Civic Center starting Monday, open to anyone 16 and over. Appointments for this clinic become available Friday at 11 a.m. In this case, the vaccine supply will increase. However, so will the demand. People like Jones continue to worry they won't be able to get an appointment in the near future. However, places like Sunset Health and Regional Center for Border Health have waiting lists in place. In the meantime, for Jones and several others. It's just a waiting game to get vaccinated. This has been the case for other older Yuma locals who have called us, emailed us and messaged us asking about vaccine availability. We understand the frustration and many of those can't log on fast enough to secure an appointment and can only resort to a phone call where people like Jones say they are turned away or too late. Reporting in Yuma, Crystal Menez, News 11. Crystal, thanks. We'll turn to the numbers now. Statewide as a whole, more than 3 million inoculated in Arizona. Yuma County surpassing 80.